Greetings and salutations, fellow Earthlings. Elton here. Boy, you know who I remind myself in this light or angle? I remind myself of this guy I'm subscribed to who's got a lot of subscribers. Everybody's got more subscribers than me, you know. But he goes by the name of the History Guy. Uh, he's an American somewhere. Glasses, middle-aged. And, um, yeah, he has some good videos. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you this part two to this uh, last segment of my old photo. So, no, uh, What's weird about this phone, I can't seem to be able to to keep recording while I switch the angle to the photos and not me, so. Okay, here we go, starting it off well here. Here's a picture I took in downtown Montreal in 2003. On the corner, a corner that I was at, I was at yesterday actually, the corner just uh, last night. On the corner of uh, Peel and... Uh, de Maisonneuve and I was at a cafe with a friend of mine uh, we had finished work and we had smoked a dube and uh, a friend of mine named uh, Ian Bossejour and we were working at a company called Protocol in telemarketing and uh, and uh, yeah like I said we smoked a dube we took a break had a little bite and a coffee and uh, here's an old Chevy Cavalier there and there's a first gen STM bus and there's an old Cherokee and you know look at this guy with his phone see that was just the beginning eh yeah, uh, so I'm gonna put these here. I think. What do you think, Gloria? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got my nice cup of coffee here after my nice long walk. Hmm. Mighty good. Same place, same time. I don't know. Just one of those things you don't think twice. Just randomly take a picture. You know, whatever. I don't randomly take pictures of strange women, but. Whatever. Still a cool picture in time. And uh, this was probably about the same year. Um, this was, as you can see, some sort of movie or TV shoot uh, in a street in Old Montreal with the uh, with the old fire escape staircases there. It looks like New York. I think that was the whole point of it. Or Chicago or whatever. Uh, back to uh, that time in 2003, I was working at the call center on St. Catherine Street downtown while well, there was this... Uh, fire department response and I wasn't taking pictures of fire trucks at that time. It's too bad that it didn't didn't come out sharp. Um, the uh, cameras seemed to rather focus on the blonde lady with her cigarette which is kind of odd because I thought it was symbolic in a way anyway because a lot of fires are are unfortunately have, were always started by often started by tossed cigarettes or you know cigarettes that weren't properly poured out. 2002, this was in July with my friend James Mays. We drove down all the way to Detroit in the 69 AMC Ambassador wagon. And man, that was a scary place, man. There was even a black guy later on at this uh, Detroit library. He told us, don't go to downtown Detroit at night. You'll get mugged. You know? Wow. Speaking of the Ambassador, there it is right here. Street view there, uh, the rare 69 AMC Ambassador DPL. You can see the uh, downtown part of Detroit in the background, and if you look, we look closer here. There's an RTS bus there, city bus. I don't know if it's a GM or, a, um, you know, whatever Nova. Uh, one of the uh, only, I think, two times I've ever been to Toronto. Here's uh, 2002. It was down there again with my friend James Mays. That's on the Danforth, nice Crown, Vict uh, Crown Victoria there, and with the Chevy uh, uh, Astro van. Same place again, uh, I think. I think it's the same place. There, the, uh, the old uh, TTC streetcars there, an international utility truck. You can even see, uh, you can even make out a new look in the back there. But I wasn't into buses at that time, and little did I know that at the end of 2002, that was it for even the, the Montreal GM new look buses. And you know, we had now last ones in service. There's uh, Rockefeller Center, Rockefeller Plaza in uh, New York, 2003 again, I think. And again, 2003, there's uh, Times Square in New York City. Funky, funky, funky looking building there, nice Crown Victoria. And again, uh, another nice looking Crown Victoria. Again, it's Times Square in New York, Crown Victoria. Now there's none left. That's a big sign of the time. Sad to the yours truly, the enthusiast. Here's a beautiful church or cathedral, what have you, in St. Anne de Beaupre when I went down there with friends uh, in my more glorious years, I think, uh, with my clique of friends who went down there for, for the millennium. 
Uh, yeah, uh, it was last, well, it was right, probably right before uh, the new year of 2000. There's the uh, the motel, Motel St. Louis we stayed at. And my friends, you know, of course, they're all in their 20s like me. And uh, look at this variety of cars, the Ford Taurus. God, who had that car again? I'm trying to remember her name. I think it was Christina. That Pontiac Grand Am, Volkswagen van. I remember when we got there, I rang the wrong room. I rang the bell in the wrong room, and this this scruffy-looking guy, I think he was a truck driver, he tried to pull me into his room. Fucking disgusting. What? Uh, this was um, in uh, Navin, Ontario, which is uh, south of Ottawa. This was actually the, the neighbor's house next to my my aunt and uncle's place, which I thought this was actually nicer than their place. And I, don't know, I took a picture of it, you know, kind of a cottage style. I don't even know when the hell that was. It could have been 2002, 3, 4, I don't know. 2002 again, uh, the good old Canadian National CN Tower, which I heard it's years, even years ago, my brother went with his family, absurd. It's like 45 person. 45 bucks a person to go up there. What kind of a scam is that? $45. Should be free even. And you're looking at downtown Tetford Mines, Quebec. And uh, a friend of mine I used to have, he was from there. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. This was in 99. We drove up there with a 64 Impala Coupe because he was he, he kept it over there. Kept it in storage over there. Uh, this is a view from an NDG apartment on Claremont Street that I share with my brother uh, back in 99 or 2000. Oddly enough, not oddly enough, I, I live again in a same type of, about the same age, old apartment, same type of windows, same small, narrow windows. People didn't have a vision back then of, you know, how big windows should be bigger. I guess glass maybe cost more back then. Here's an outside view again around the same time, 20 years ago. Nice memories, though. Yeah. And uh, here's a view of, uh, I don't know, I guess out of boredom I took this picture, probably again 2002, 2003, Lakeshore Hospital in Point Claire here in Montreal, undergoing renovations, excuse me, where my dad died. Yeah, look how cool that is. I love stuff like that. You can see the indentation of where a home, a building or a house used to be in old Montreal. You see that in a couple of few places. It's really neat. I love stuff like that. You know, I think maybe even one day I'll just frame some of these pictures. Maybe I could sell them. That's what would be cool about getting famous. You know, that means a lot more notoriety. It means these pictures would be worth more than, than the two bucks I would want each for them, you know. If you're interested, like I said, two bucks each for these photos, you know. Okay, this place has got a story. This used to be an American restaurant. This used to be a real diner. And uh, what happened was in the late 90s, or sorry, in the 1990s, sometime in the 1990s, the guy, there's a guy at Quebecois or whatever, Quebecer bought the fucking place, he bought that whole building, I think, again, in Boston, put it on a ship, brought it over here, opened it, opened it up and called it the Galaxy Diner on St. Denis Street. And I used to go to this place regularly when I worked at UNICEF for four months. This was the most authentic looking vintage old school restaurant, especially diner I've ever been in. They even had the table tabletop Seaberg jukeboxes. They all worked. They all played oldies music. The music. The girls were all dressed up, old school style. But I don't know what happened. Something went wrong along the way, and then it became this place, this Pizzioli, which is still very cool. It's the great food, but again, it's lost its uh, authenticity. It's not genuine. It was what it was, you know. I don't remember what street this was. This was downtown, uh, right by the Plaza du Canada, Chateau Champlain Hotel. Again, 2003 and all that, you know. Most of these photos, I think, are from 2003, oddly enough. Uh, this is the old... Uh, this was used to be a really cool restaurant back when the uh, gay village in Montreal was thriving before the internet pretty much killed it, almost. Sad to say, like a lot of things, the internet has killed, and... Uh, Gone, of course, also is that good old Buick Century. Used to be tons of those Buick Centuries as taxis. So I'm glad I really, I'm really glad I took this picture because it, it it was epic of that time for that neighborhood, and and it's gone, gone forever. You know, the whole that whole fucking building closed. Actually, as a matter of fact, the whole place was owned by the same guy. I think the whole fucking place shut down. It was the restaurant, then it was a bar next to it. And here's inside uh, inside Windsor Station, the old Windsor Station in Montreal. Uh, which is still there, but more of a decorative piece. Another shot of the, the apartment my brother and I, uh, from the apartment my brother and I shared for a couple of years in, uh, in, in NDG and 20 years ago. 
And just, I don't know, I just like the lighting, I guess, of the wall of the building. And again, this is right behind Claremont Street, looking south towards uh, the Mezzanav. We live nearby Vondel Metro. It was a terrific, fucking terrific location. It was right on the border of Westmount. Uh, this was in Roxborough, back in the days when it was called Roxborough and not Roxborough Pierrefonds. I think that's ridiculous, personally. I know that towns, both towns merged, whatever, in 2000, 2001, but to me it'll always be just Roxborough because I live both in Roxborough and Pierrefonds. This was on, this didn't last long, obviously, you can tell by the name, but this was again around 2003, 4, uh, on Gouin Boulevard, Gouin Boulevard Gouin. And whatever, to finish some random photo of a chimney, I don't know where the hell this was. This was at, uh, in 2000 or 1999. It was with my the company I worked for, a cleaning company, and we went to a sugar shack. I don't know where. So, probably Eastern Township. So, that's about it, guys. Perfect timing. I finally made this one not too long. The camera's at 10 minutes. It's going to stop recording now because that's usually where it stops recording at. So, thanks again for watching, and uh, take care. And like I said, if you appreciate it, when you love what I do, and you want to send me something since I do this full time, you can use my email address at eltonmcfall at hotmail.com you can send me a little gift donation, whatever you want to call it uh, uh, through PayPal or uh, e-transfer here in Canada thanks again and uh, y'all be well, take care bye bye, thank you